Today I actually have two comic book mystery boxes to open up on this channel. One of them is a $100 Torpedo Comics CGC graded mystery box. 100 bucks, you get one comic in this box. You have a 1 in 25 chance to get out a very big comic. We'll discuss that a little bit later. But the first box I'm opening up is a $30 shipped box from the company That Spider-Man Booth. So each one of these boxes has like five comics in it, maybe six. But in order to do the big box, we gotta do kind of like, you know, an appetizer for it. We can't just jump straight into the CGC graded $100 mystery box. Just can't do it. Gotta warm up a little bit, you know? Gotta get the engines, engine a little bit uh, warmed up. You know, here we go. That Spider-Man booth, 100, not $100 box, $30 ship box from that Spider-Man booth. They sell new boxes every Wednesday and Saturday. And each time there's always one box that has a grand prize in it. And that could be anything from a Punisher or a Amazing Spider-Man number 129, first parents of Punisher. They did a lot of Amazing Spider-Man number 300, the first full parents of um, Venom. They've done Daredevil number ones. They've done a lot of Stan Lee signed comic books. It's like the grand prize. But no matter what, for $30 shipped, you'll always get more in value than what you paid. But if you buy these, you have to be a fan of variant covers because these will be full of variant cover comics. So if you don't like variant covers, this box is not for you. But if you like variant covers and a small, slim chance at something very expensive, this is for you. I actually don't know how many boxes they sell each time. It's probably at least, you know, two or 300 boxes each time, each Monday or each Wednesday and Saturday, but I don't know the exact number. I don't think anybody really actually does. So here's inside the bottle. The box says, I feel like Peter, cause it's called it that Spider-Man booth. There's the back, inside. Every Monday they do this thing called Insta Mondays where you can win free comics. I've never won anything, but I do know a couple people who actually have won free comics on Instant Mondays. So this has only four comics in it this time. I think the top comic, I think, is the best one. I think, if I remember correctly. It used to be the back one, but then they changed it up. So we'll do the back one to the front because I can't see it. I don't want to see what I'm getting. Here we go. First one. Is it awesome? We have, it looks like we do have a Venom. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is though. Venom number 19. This is a unknown comics variant. Cool cover though. I think I actually do already have this comic. Pretty sure I do. This is a variant cover. This is probably like a one in ten variant, maybe like one twenty-five, some something, something like that. Or it's just you know a shop exclusive. Next one we have. The Batman Who Laughs, number one. Is this another cover? I have literally probably 10 different covers of the Batman number one, or the Batman Who Laughs number one. This must be like a second or third printing, I bet, because I haven't, I've never seen this cover. It's actually a really cool cover, though. Next one, we have, oh, nice. We got the Flash variant cover. I don't know much about this one. Let's see what the back says. I don't know if it's kind of tight in there. Carefully pull it out. That fits really tight. Well, it doesn't really say much about it. Flash, oh, here we go. The Flash number 57. So this is a variant cover, Flash number 57. Let me leave that out of the uh, bag and board for just a minute. Fits kind of tight, we'll carefully put it back in later. There's that one, here we go. Book number four. What we got this time? Oh, another deceased number one. I probably have, once again, probably 15 covers of deceased number one. I got deceased number one with Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is a zombie. Harley Quinn is freaking space alien or something. Then I have several with Batman deceased, black and white covers, black and white virgin variant covers, x-ray covers. I have a lot of this comic. <laughs> They've made a lot of different covers of deceased number one. Here we go. Last comic in that Spider-Man booth. $30 mystery box. And we have... Is it awesome? 
Wolverine at number one. So this is not the newest one. This says display until 4-23-2013. So we used to have a Wolverine number one that came out around seven years ago or so. So I guess that's, that's, that's not too bad. Value-wise, if they have it priced at 25, it's probably worth about 15, 25, 30, Probably this here's probably worth probably about 40 bucks or so. Nothing like crazy expensive, but it's probably about 40, maybe as high as 45. So I got more back and buying what I paid. That is a definite. So here we go. This for $100, you have the possibility at a Hulk number 180. Graded is like a five or a six. Pretty sure it's signed by Stan Lee. They sold 25 of these. 24 people will get a comic that's worth around $100 graded. The other people will get that Hulk, or that one person will get that Hulk number 180. So we're all trying for that Hulk 180. I mean, that's what we want. That's what we're trying to get. Did I get it? I'm gonna try to open this thing down so we both cannot see what this is. Of course, it's well taped. I need my knife to open this thing up carefully without cutting myself. Children at home, do not open up packages not looking at what you're doing. Always open up your packages, anything with a knife carefully. Do not open up things like I'm doing right now. That's extremely dangerous. Do not do that at home. That goes for adults too, you know, children and adults. Open up carefully. Do not do what I'm doing. Try to keep it so you also cannot see which one is in this. Man, there's a lot of tape on this. But if it's a Hulk 180, obviously you want it to get to the buyer in good condition. I think I'm almost there. The good thing is this builds anticipation a little bit though, right? There's more tape. Okay, I just felt the blade touch my finger, but did not cut myself. When I felt it, I <laughs> I stopped cutting towards my finger. Here we go. This has a possibility of being a Hulk number 180 graded. Here we go. I'm I'm hoping. I already have Hulk 181 graded 9.0 white pages. Hulk 180 is on my list of comics that I want to buy. And if I could get it for only 100 bucks, I would love that. Especially with it being worth around fifteen hundred in the condition it's supposed to be. You ready? You wanna find out if I got it or not? I'm gonna quit gabbing. Anticipation is over in three, two, one. Oh, it's looking at me. Looks like it is a newer comic. It is not the Hulk 180. Bam bam. We have Nail Biter number thirteen, graded nine point eight white pages. I have never heard of this comic. Nail Biter number 13. It says, Why is my boyfriend so obsessed with my nails? Find out in an all new chilling teenage romance called I Dated a Serial Killer. So, yeah, I don't know if that's honestly even worth 100 bucks. Let me actually look at eBay at sold listings, just kind of gauge a price on that. So on eBay, I'm seeing sold listings, not graded. I'm seeing one that sold for a buck seventy-nine, dollar ninety-nine for nail by number thirteen. I don't know why they're valuing this thing at a hundred bucks for whenever it sells raw for literally it's a dollar comic book. So honestly, I think a hundred dollar value on this thing, I think is a little bit high by probably like a lot. So yeah, I'm not too excited about this comic. When I can buy it raw for literally a dollar. Um, even graded 9.8, I don't think that really raises the value much on this. So, yeah, I I think that assessment on this book is a way off by a lot. I'd probably be lucky to sell this thing for probably like 40, 30, 40 bucks tops. Because this isn't, is it, if this thing was nail biter number one, like the first issue, it might go for a little bit more, but this one, yeah, that's. Honestly, I'm just being straight up. That's not worth $100. So I, I did not get my value back from what, you know, we were told $100 guaranteed value. That's not a $100 comic. 
They're pricing it at their shop at 100 bucks, yes, but that's not a $100 comic. So, yeah, not too happy with that one. I lost, I think, quite a bit of money on that, but that's the gamble with mystery boxes. Sometimes you get ones that are kind of stinkers like this for 100 bucks. So, I mean, but somebody's got to get the Hulk 180. Somebody else has to get kind of stinkers like this that you really don't want. So, I'll be selling this, but anyway... That's mystery boxes. I'm, I'm going to keep buying them no matter what because sometimes you do get that big hit out. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.